So let's go through, we're going to look through some practice problems here. And the question is, in this example, where does the water go? So you're going to see a bunch of problems where it's going to be asking you where the net movement of water is. Now remember, this is a ratio of salt to water. We want it to be at equilibrium. But if we can't go through and use a numerical calculation here, the way we get these problems right is you just push the water wherever there is more salt. The number one rule here is the water always moves to where there is more salt. Wherever you see a higher solute or higher salt, higher sugar, higher glucose concentration, that is where the water moves. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through and look at some of these practice problems. So what we're going to see are a few different types of practice problems. So right now we have our cell and it's in a glass of water and we have two percentages here. Now, this percentage is referring to when we see this type of problem. So when we see these percentages here, this is telling you the percentage of solute in the water or the percentage of solute or the percentage of salt in the cell. So what we can see here is the first thing we're going to go through is where is the, the net movement of water? Well, this water is 25% as a 25% solute in uh, the medium, and the cell has 50% solute within its cell. So where is the water going to move? Where is there more salt? So to equal out that ratio, it's going to move into the cell. So the water is going to move into the cell. The next question that you are going to see is, we're not looking at the cell, we're going to, it's going to ask you, what is this solution that the cell's in? Is it hypotonic? Is it hypertonic? Or is it isotonic? So you're going to have to select between one of these three. So the question is, in relation to the solution in the cell, is this water hypertonic here? hypotonic or isotonic. Well, it has less solute, less than the solute in the cell. So it's going to be a hypotonic solution. So in this case, the water relative to the cell is hypotonic. Okay, so now we see another type of problem here. This is 45% solute and this is 25% solute. So where's the net movement of water? Well, we have less salt here. We have more salt in the glass of water. So the net movement of water is going to be into the glass, or it's going to move out of the cell. So it's going to ask you, what is the solution here? Is this hyper, hypo, or isotonic? Well, there is more salt in the water than there is in the cell. So this is going to be a hypertonic solution. So the solution in the glass, this water, is hypertonic compared to the solution in the cell. All right, so the next type of problem you're going to see is this M next to the numerical value for the solute. Now this is referring to moles. So this is going to be moles per liter, and we're talking about molarity here. So this M is going to be moles per liter of solute, moles per liter of solute, and we call this molarity. So essentially, we don't have to understand moles per liter of solute here. We have to understand where is there more salt or where is there more solute. So if we're looking at this problem here, well, we have a 20 molar solution in the cell, we have a 35 molar solution in the glass of water. When we see the larger number, that means that we have more solute when we see a larger uh, molar value here and we have less in the cell. So if we're looking at this what we can see is the water is going to again move into the glass because there's more salt in the glass so therefore the water moves out and this is a again hypertonic solution compared to the solution within the cell. We're talking about the solution in the water here. So solution in the water is hypertonic. And again, the larger the value, the more salt there is in that solution. Okay, so now we see another type of problem that you're going to see on your exam and that you might see uh, in some of the practice sets. So this is telling us we have 90% solvent 
10% solute. And inside the cell, we have 70% solvent and 30% solute. So if we're looking at this, remember, the solvent is what is doing the dissolving. So this is the water either in the cell or in the glass. The solute, well, this is what's being dissolved. So this is the salt, or it could be in a problem, it could be we're dissolving sugar in the water. It could also be, you might see it as glucose, which again is sugar. But when you see it in the problem, you're going to see salt, sugar, glucose, one of them. So the question is here is we have 90% solvent, 10% solute. 70% solute, 30% or 70% solvent, 30% solute. So where is there more salt? So if we're looking at this, this is the water, this is the water. So I can actually go through and cross these out. These don't necessarily matter. And I can look at this. Well, I have 10% solute. That's a 10% solution of salt. And then we have a 30% solution of salt here. So if we're looking at this, inside the cell, there is more salt so therefore it's going to go into the cell the water moves into the cell when the water moves into the cell we're asking is this solution in the glass hypertonic hypotonic or isotonic well if it's got less salt than inside the cell remember hypo meaning less this is a hypotonic solution Okay, so the last type of problem that we're going to see is it's going to ask you to solve for either the solute or the solvent. So in this particular case, what we have to do is use a little bit of math. If we have 75% solvent or 75% water, we're going to have to go through. It's out of a percentage of 100%. So I'm going to do 100 minus 75. So that means that this is 25% solute. And if I have 30% solute in the cell, what is the quantity of solvent? Well, that is going to be 70%. So now again, the question is, is where does the water move? Where's the net movement of water? Well, I can cross this out, solvent. This is solvent here. I have a 25% solute solution here, 30% solute solution here. There is more salt inside the cell. Therefore, the water moves into this cell. And if we're talking about the solution in the water, is this hyper, hypo, or iso? Well, the question is, which one is it? This is going to be hypotonic compared to the cell because it has less salt compared to the salt in the cell. So this is a hypotonic solution. All right, this is going to be the end of the video. I will see you guys in class tomorrow.